Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GADNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Are you getting tired of me singing? Hey everybody, it's Alex Bennett. It is the Ramble. We go until midnight Eastern Daylight Time on the uh, right coast of America. And uh, we will uh, see our citizen panel and you'll see video uh, of that citizen said, same said citizen panel. But uh, we start off, as we do most days, with a guest, okay? Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we do this uh, really every couple of weeks. We, we dial a number and we see what, what is on the other end. Here we go. Let me see. Call mobile. There we go. Okay. Wow, there we go. Wow. <laughs> Wait a minute, that is perfect timing. A man must be punctual. Take it from me, Chadwick Osgood Dalton the third, the boss of everything. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What was that all about? <laughs> I don't know. We're in the middle of packing stuff up. We're going nuts. I don't know what's happening anymore. Yeah, t- uh, t- um, uh, this is Stephen Pearl, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, hi, everybody. This is my FM Rich voice. Yes, buy this shit by Nabisco. Yeah, and, pretty good, pretty and, good. And okay, you're, how are you? Yeah, and and you're 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 like uh, uh, packing. We're moving. The Bay Area rents have gotten obscene. They've driven us the fuck out of this place, and we're moving to Las Vegas. We already got wait, 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 wait. First, let's take the rents. Okay. Uh, what what what's what, that? what let's take the rents to begin with what, uh, with the rents oh. what did the rent go from to oh, usually from the 13 something 1382 now it's going to like 1900 and we're sick with we can't take this anymore yeah but this broken down place with bad wiring and air conditioner that only works in one room and toilets that only flush when they want to and gravity that only works Tuesdays Thursdays and Friday afternoons with cigarettes <laughs> <laughs> oh so, yes, we so, forgot to pay our gravity bill, so shit is floating away now. We have to leave. Well, my my question is this, okay? Uh, is why did they raise it that much? And can they? Aren't there laws about that? Uh, there's there's no rent control here, and this landlord's a dick, and uh, who shall remain nameless. And we just we've had it. We've been talking about Vegas for a while, and we looked at other places and. <laughs> We saw one for fifteen hundred that, like you know, had a sunken floor and a body under the bed. So yeah, and uh, we had we just said, "Fuck it, let's go to Vegas." And a friend of mine who owns properties there got us a really nice place for a little more than half of what we're playing here. It's, yeah. Paying here, playing yeah. here too. Yeah, you're playing Vegas, baby. You're paying, you play. Yeah, but no, but uh, it, we just it, had it. I went there to look at the place, and you know, we're going to be moving down there in eight days. We've had it. Now we're taking it, the stuff and the cats and everything. Yeah, but my question is: is is there work for you there? More than there is here. <laughs> what do I do here? I do the. Uh, I love the Throckmorton Theater, but I'm there twice or three times a year. They do our punchline shows like twice a year, and then they got one nighter once in a great while, and that's about it. And I have friends there who say they want to get me on stage. We're working there regularly, so you know I'm not really just going there for the work. I'm just going there to live better. So you fucking at it, man. Yeah, I'm 62 now, so I go. Well, I guess Vegas is where I'm going to die. Okay, now, I can I can deal with that. Now, what does your significant other do? Are you married? I. I... Did you? Yeah, in, in God's eyes. Oh, okay, well, I all right. Sammy right, Davis right, is right, God, right. so I say in God's because, eyes. Yes, we're married. Because now you just you just assume that people aren't married before you assume they are married. Less less people are getting yeah, married. We're, these we're days. married. We're married enough. You, you, <laughs> like that. Do you argue? Oh, all the time. Our fights are epic. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, then you're married. Yeah, we're married. <laughs> <laughs> She she has her room. I have my room. We do our own separate things. Once in a while, we get together. Yeah, we're married. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, no, uh, that's kind of, kind of like what we have here. Uh, I have my man. Yeah. I have my man cave, which is the guest there room. You, there you when, go. When guests come to stay, and I have the I have a four uh-huh. K TV set in there. I have all the stuff in there that I have in the bedroom, so that if she wants to watch there. her damn tennis in the bedroom, she can. 
or if, exactly. It, it's like my like our parents when they got older. Your father would do one thing, the mother would do another thing, and they got along. Yeah. So yeah. you know, she's uh, listening to her music in her room. I'm uh, listening. I'm on Facebook and doing my thing in my room, and blah blah blah. Then we get together, and everybody's happy. Well, you know what they what what I what I've always said is you, it, uh, who, the, nobody else has the right to divine your relationship. You know. Ooh, wow, we lost him. What happened there? Ooh. Uh, here we'll we'll call again. We'll call back again. Uh, uh, there we go. It's ringing. There we go. Hmm. We got disconnected. There we go. Hung up, man. Hung up. Uh, I'm hung up. What I, happened? I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's the mysterious gods. I'm, I'm keeping uh, my chin away from the phone so I don't hear anything. <laughs> well, no, what I was going to say was, and, and, and this is my way of thinking about it, is uh, nobody else should define what your relationship is. You know, what you yeah, decide Yeah, well, we love each other big time, and we get along fine, and I yeah. can't see living without her, and yeah. hopefully she kind of feels the same way. So, yeah, we're, we're fine, you know. Exactly. We say everything's good. And, and the reason you're not married is not so you can walk out the next day if you feel like it, because you can do that anyway, even if you're married. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you just, it's a little more financially uh, rewarding if we don't do it legally. So the, the, <laughs> roma it the romantic sort that I am, uh, my wife asked me to marry her on uh, leap day because supposedly uh -huh. women can ask guys on leap day, right? Yeah, so she day. asked okay. me, so. uh, "Will you marry me?" And I said, "I think something to the effect of why not." You know, well, I, mean, not. Yeah, I got it, Let me check my calendar. It, yeah, sure. It was that romantic a notion for me. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Why not? I, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably do that one day, but uh, you know, if I don't kill over first, but uh, things are good. So now, why? Let, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what I say. Let's talk about Las Vegas for a second. Because I have been in Las Vegas. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I've gone to Vegas for like three days because, you know, I. I went there when I lost my job at uh, at uh, Live 105 I, to get away from the press uh -huh. press and everything. I uh, yeah. f we flew to Vegas and stayed there for three days, but I've had to spend upwards to five days there because I work for companies that work conventions, uh, electronic uh -huh. companies yeah. that go there for the Consumer Electronics Show and so on. And five days I was going crazy. I was going squirrely. Uh -huh. Well, were you in a hotel near the casino or in yeah, the casino? Yeah, yeah. We, well, we, we got a nice, we got this nice little country club estate going on, so we're near the strip. But you know, when, you, when you're there in our little neighborhood, you can't. It's like a little suburban neighborhood, very quiet, very nice. Yeah. And uh, so you know, it's it's not like Vegas at all. You know, the, the, the heat probably it'll be like 198 degrees, but still, you know, you can't you can't be anywhere. So it's just like you're in a sub suburb anywhere. Yeah, so well, it's I, nice. I, it's quiet. It's away from the ding, ding, bling, bling, the zing, zing, and all that stuff, and the, all that stuff is there close by if you want it. So I hope you're. I hope it'll be cool. I hope you're not a gambler. I'm too cheap to gamble. I despise alcohol, and I don't whore around. Vegas is perfect for me. Yeah, well, it's if but if you whored around and you were a gambler, and you drank, uh, that that, uh, yeah. <laughs> that within a month. That town would be toxic. Just of toxic. Course, of course, but I don't do any of that stuff. So, you know, and weed is legal there. There are 24 hour dispensaries. Hello. Hello. My one vice is being serviced. Hello. Well, so well, if, I, if, I, well, if I need to, like, uh, you know, get get the little buzz at four in the morning and I don't have anything, which will never happen, I could just go somewhere. California is pretty good that way now, though, too, isn't it? I mean, you have. You have uh yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's, I don't think there's any 24-hour ones, but uh, that's Vegas. But uh, no, I, I, I would love to stay in California, but it's insane. It's just it's the it, rent, it, the greed has driven a lot of good people out, and uh, off we go to it, the next state. So it, I never thought I'd live in Nevada, but uh, I guess we will. Yeah. Well, everything, everything in uh, Vegas is 24-hour. Sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't. Me. Think, nothing closes, does it? No, nothing. No, no, nothing closes. Nothing. They got slot machines in the Seven Eleven. It's insane. Mm. They have them at the airport. They it's, want to get every penny they can out of you before exactly. you leave. Exactly. They want. To, they want to squeeze everything. Just uh, you know, let's see. People are they leaving. They come in happy on Friday and they leave on Sunday and Monday, broke and pissed off. Well, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Never ever play a, a slot machine at a grocery store. Be <laughs> okay. Well, because, you see, the one thing about slot machines is you can set them for a certain amount of payout. Yeah. Right? Because they're mechanical. 
Uh, yep. And so, therefore, the ones that are in the supermarkets and in the airports and stuff like that aren't there to get winners. The ones yeah, in the casinos right. are there to get winners. So people then, you know, you hear the bells going off and everything else, and then that, yeah. that jizzes you up to do the same thing, you know. Yep. Um, Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I got two heads of lettuce and a kumquat. I lost. Yeah. Now, were you thinking about uh, Vegas for a while? For a while, yeah, for a year or two. Well, I guess know, I, I, I was thinking about, well, like falling apart. what well, are we going to do? I was thinking, why didn't you move further upstate in California? But you're thinking in terms of work, too, that there's work there for you. Work and just being around where stuff is going on if I want to be near it. I don't want to, I don't want to move to Redding. You know? I want to move to Eureka. I love California, but not that much, so I don't want to go up there. I don't know. So I've always, I've always, I, you know, if, if my wife weren't such a city rat, uh, I would move out into the middle of nowhere. I would just, I would be, sure, the, yeah. I would, I'd be the fucking Unabomber. You know, yeah. <laughs> I'd have my just little find a nice uh, <laughs> cinder block room and a bare light bulb above your head and write that manifesto. I'd, ha I'd have my little hut, you know, um, yeah. and and uh, just to sit up there and look at the rest of the world and going, you're fucked, you know. I can, <laughs> I can do that. If I have Wi-Fi and weed, you know. I can, I can live anywhere pretty much. But Vegas is cheap and nice, and I've got a really good place, and we'll be there for now. So. You know, on a lot of levels, next, on a lot of levels, the Unabomber was right. You know, <laughs> it, it, except it, for on the killing people level, but other than that, yeah, the the right antisocial right aspect of his being is what the problem was. You know, the yeah. fact that he uh, wanted to blow people up—that's not good. All right, yeah, but the rest of it—if you even read the manifesto, and you can get through some of the craziness of the manifesto he has a lot of things to say about technology you know that's right and then he went and he lived in that little hut stayed there till friday <laughs> but saturday night it was shut boom 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 where did robinson <laughs> crusoe go with friday on saturday yeah. night every saturday <laughs> night they would start into rome and by sunday morning they'd come up yes, uh, scurrying home <laughs> on this island live wild men with cannibal trimmings and you know where there are wild men there must be wild women so where did robinson yeah. crusoe go with friday on saturday night, saturday now, night. Bah, 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 bah. now ask me how i, I know it was the first time i saw the winter garden theater that wonderful song what was it? Yeah, but the question is uh well why do i know that song so well I don't know. You probably grew up with it, uh, humming it to people as no. they tried to beat the hell my, out of you for saying it. My my grandparents, when I di when they died, left me their record collection, which were seventy eight, uh, and my favorite seventy eight was a nineteen sixteen recording of Al Jolson singing "Where Did Robinson Crusoe Go" with Friday yeah. on Saturday Night. I still have that record, and it's one of only wow. three in the entire world. Damn. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I would so, frame that thing. I'd put it on, put it on a disc, and then frame it. And I love the. Uh, uh, I, I, in fact, I used to do pantomime. You know, where you would lip sync to records, at, yeah. at, at school functions, and that was one of the records I did. Yeah, and I got you on the road to show business. And it is one of my favorite songs because if you want to say, well, give me a typical like, you know, teens song, back in those days from the 1910 to 1920. Yeah. There it is. Literally. You know, that's the kind of song yep. they wrote. Where did Robinson Crusoe go with Friday on Saturday night? <laughs> hey, I got a great song, Bob. What? I Where did Robinson Crusoe go? Get this. With Friday on Saturday night. Get it? <laughs> beautiful. Record it. Yeah. Be I, beautiful. Take I, it to the studio and... <laughs> I think it's going to be a hit, Bob. Yeah. Be a hit. Going to sell over 30 copies. Yeah. In 1916, that's a hit, baby. We don't write songs like that anymore, you know? No, no, there aren't any songs anymore. It's, that's what they're writing now. There's no well, songs anymore. You know, I don't mind rap and I don't mind hip hop, you know, but there's so much bad rap and so much bad hip hop that that's the yeah, problem. Sure. You know? I can't tell the difference between the good stuff and the bad stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I, like my, I like my father when the Beatles came on. Why is this crap? Yeah. I guess it's my turn to be the old guy. <laughs> so, you, so, you, so you think you're probably going to have a better shot in Vegas. I mean, first of all, the rent is, you know, but 
The rent is much better. Our dollars can go further. We can live better with the air conditioning works. Uh, what else? It's just you know, if I can do, if I can leap about on a few stages, that's cool too. I'm not looking to be a star or take the town over and work every night, but I do have several comedian friends there. Say, no, no, come by, come on, we'll help you out. That'd be great. So, well, well, yeah, uh, 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 and I don't uh, have to cross uh, any bridges to do and pay any tolls. So, yeah. Bub said that you're in a gated community. Very gated, yes, yeah. San Quentin, ha ha. But no, it's a gated community. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I gotta tell you, hey, boy, that's a gated community. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good way of saying. Hey, you're in the next February. I, I, you know, I always used to make the joke about you know if you if you were in San Quentin, you could say, well, where were you? Where where'd you live last, Marin? You know, which is a very <laughs> yeah, which, Marin, gated which, community. Which a very and, and then I then you just added something. I think you just say Marin, a gated community. You know, gated community. Because <laughs> people don't realize San Quentin is in one of the most what could we call it upscale. Uh, uh, oh sure! You, you go over that bridge, it's, you see it to the left, and it's it looks it looks really pretty and nice from a distance. <laughs> you don't want to go in, but uh. well, you know what it was? It started out as a, a prison ship, and uh -huh. then they sent they then built out from the prison ship, and that's what you wow. have today. It's a really old prison. I didn't know that. It's really disgusting because it's, it's really old. Oh, God, I, don't want, I never want to. It looks nice from the outside. It's like, whoa, that's from like a modern doctor's office building or well, something. Well, no, it kind of looks. You don't want to go in. Ah, not there, not there. It kind of looks like a castle in a way. You yeah, know? an evil castle. Yeah. Hey, hey. But, you know, as, as a kid, I would drive out to go to like Richmond or whatever, and you always pass by San Quentin, you know. Yeah. And uh, wave to the boys. Wave We're getting to close the to the other boys. But uh, I've been in there. Uh, oh really? Yeah, well, because I had this guy I knew this uh, this guy who uh, remember Dean. Remember talking about Dean of San, from San Quentin? He was a prisoner and uh, he was in yeah. there uh, on death hey. row. Uh, oh lord! And he was there for killing five women with his bare hands. So, uh, so I, I, as I said to people, uh, they said, "How can you talk to him?" And I said, "I can relate to his crime." <laughs> <laughs> Like the Kennison bit, I don't, I don't condone it, but I understand it. Uh, <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> but no, he, he crazy. And, 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 and I went, I went in to see him, but I never asked him about the crimes. Never asked him about it. Uh -huh. What happened was, is I got to know this guy because he he wrote me uh, uh, at the radio station saying I listen to you every day, and then I started writing him back, and then we started talking on the phone. And I never asked him about the crimes because I didn't want to know about the crimes. I didn't want to know about what he did or what got him on death row. And he said, don't, you know, you really don't have to ask. I'm not in here. For, he, as he put it, I'm not in here for traffic tickets. You know. <laughs> uh, and uh, so I, I was going with this girlfriend at the time, Xanthe, I think you may remember her. And I... She said, don't you, don't, uh, you're talking to a murderer, you're talking to somebody who committed some crime that got him on death row, don't you want to find out what he did? Again. And I went, I, I don't want to know. Oh, you're there. Huh? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? All right. You went, you went silent. I thought we got cut off. Yeah. I, don't know I'm yeah. I can hear you yeah. again. But anyway, she said, uh, she said to me, uh, don't you want to know what he did? And I said, well, I don't really want to know what he did because that's going to, that's going to like put a, a, a damper on how I, I feel about it. Damper on her. Friendship, yeah. She said, come on, there's a library over there. Let's just go over and look up his name. And sure enough, one look up Cosmopolitan Magazine or something like that. Red Book, I think. Red Book. Uh, uh, oh, Red Book. Uh, uh, a, 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 an article called A Kiss from My Killer. Uh, oh, and, and it was about the one woman who got away from him. And then it was a story about him and all the crimes he had done. And he had done these five crimes of killing women over a period of two weeks. So he must have gotten really cranky. You know, yeah, something uh, happened. <laughs> something twisted somewhere. Lord. And, I, and I read this whole thing, and so the next time the phone rings and it's San Quentin, because you have to approve the call, right? You have a call. Oh, yeah. calling you have from a call San, from San Quentin. I, I hung up. I couldn't. I couldn't Yikes. talk to him. And then, yeah, yeah. The, the next Ooh, time, he, the next time he tried, about a week later, I answered the phone and I said, "I got to admit something to you. I read an article about you." And when you called the last time, I didn't take the call because I didn't know what to do. And he says, I get that reaction. I said, but I feel... Yeah, he's used to it. I said, I feel ashamed of myself because I befriended you as, as somebody who cares about somebody who's on death row and, and, you know, wants to talk with you and so on. 
and and I'm you know I'm going against all that I believe by hanging up on you. So I just wanted you to know that. And from then on, we kept talking for a long time until I moved to New York, and then it was a little more difficult. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Crazy shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I want to be friends with a murderer. <laughs> I, I should write him. Crazy. He's he's still on death row. You know, they have an Lord, exit. Yeah. They it have takes an forever to kill these guys if they do it at all. <laughs> if they do it at all, yeah. But, you know, I also, the other thing that bothered me about my friendship with him is I got to kind of like him. You know, he was not a stupid yeah. guy. He was an intelligent guy. He just happened to kill people, right? And I, don't know. I, I felt uh, that uh, I, I didn't want to know somebody who someday was going to die on me. You know, that I knew for sure yeah. was going to die on me. Yeah. So, so that's, aye, aye, aye. you know. But they, they get guys on death row can outlive us, so yeah. yeah. You never know. But and uh, the other time I went out there, remember Carol Chessman, the red light bandit? Sure, remember sure. Let him live, let him live, let him yeah, live. Wrote, the he, red light uh, rapist. He wrote a book about death row and about, uh, wrote several books. And so a, a lot of people came to his defense because he didn't really kill anybody. What he did no. is, in those days, kidnapping was a capital crime. That happened after the yeah. Lindbergh thing. So he, yeah. he was convicted of taking, if he took somebody from one place, like you were in a parking lot, and by gunpoint or whatever, made him go somewhere else, that was kidnapping. Yep. And so yep. they, they got him for kidnapping. And um, Yeah, they shouldn't have killed him. They should have kept he, him in jail for a very well, long well, time. Well, he got a lot of stays, and then the final night of his execution, I was out there. And, uh, wow. It, 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 yeah, he was, um, uh, you know, he was executed the next day, but Marlon Brando was there. Oh, really? Yeah, and I so I walk up to Brando with my microphone and say, Mr. Brando, can we talk with you? And he went, no. <laughs> it was very, very I'm nice. I'm here to do an interview. I'm here to support Carl Chessman. <laughs> <laughs> he shouldn't have raped people, but I don't think they should give him the gas chain. Hey, you don't have any pie on you, do you? <laughs> I love pie. Oh, God, I got to have some fucking pie. Okay, thank you, Mr. Brando. Good meeting. Yeah, nice meeting you, Mr. <laughs> Brando. Yeah. But anyway, so I was out there a couple of times. Oh, and then I also had a friend in high school who uh, his father was the head librarian at San Quentin. Uh, because I went to a school Yikes. in San Anselmo, and so, you know, it would be, he wow. would go to that school. And the kid eventually got arrested, but he didn't get jailed because it turned out he was smuggling Chessman's books mm -hmm. out of San Quentin. Oh, yikes. He was doing oh. it. He would go in, see his father, and somehow there was something that went on where they where Chessman would get the the uh, the the uh, books to him, and then he would send them take, send them off to the publisher because they were wondering yeah. how the hell he was getting these books out because they didn't want him writing yeah. about oh, it, you know. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, Jesus, poor Carol Chessman. Well, yeah. he shouldn't have did what he did, but they shouldn't have gassed him for what he did. Yeah, no, he uh, he'd be alive today. That wouldn't even be a capital crime. That would be, you know. Maybe twenty. Oh maybe. yeah, sure. He do he do some major time, but uh, you know, he'd yeah, they sell with Vince Champ and they form a comedy team. But uh, other than that, he'd probably be grieving. Oh, in those days, they they were a lot of things they could execute you for that had nothing to do with murder or anything else. Sure. Uh, kidnapping. Sure. Kidnapping. Automatic death penalty. Sure. Which was a, wow. Being black on a Tuesday that was bad. That was bad too. Now, you know that was a terrible <laughs> idea though. Saying that if you yeah. uh, if if you do this. Uh, uh, you 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 kidnap somebody, uh, we're gonna execute you, okay? Yeah. So what are you gonna do if you kidnap somebody? Are you gonna keep them alive so they can be a witness? No, you're going to kill them right. so nobody tells the tale. It's so there's insane. no there's no amount of people that probably died as a result of being kidnapped. Somebody who said, "Bing, I can't uh, I can't keep him alive. He can he can witness who yeah. I am." Oh God. You know, and so oh, they just God. killed him rather than let them go. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy shit, crazy shit. Ah, so. uh, yes, Whew. yes, yes, yes. We used to love... All right, baby, the human race, keep me away from them. Oh, and moving if, to the desert. If you, were, if you were passing by San Quentin at like 10.30 on a Friday and you saw a little puff of mm -hmm. smoke coming out of the uh, out of the chimney, that was them venting the uh, cyanide gas from the gas chamber. Oh, my God. I told us them, uh, I told us the Pope deciding who's going to get raped next. But, uh, well, 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 Dean <laughs> said to me that he... Um, he, one of the things he wrote for my website at the time, he said that one day he was just in the recreation area, 
and he was leaning up against the pipe and somebody said, I wouldn't lean up against that. And they said, why? He said, that's where the gas leaves. Yikes. 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 Well, it ain't the Hilton, baby. But this guy is like the, almost seven feet tall and he's in like a six foot cell and had been there for the last, yikes. God, got to be. Oh, Lordy. What's, it's at least, at least 25 now. years now. You know. Oof. Oh my God! I mean, they get used to it, I guess. I don't know. Well, I never find out. No, no, they've already buried him. You know, that's basically. What oh, well, fuck him! Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oof. God, seven feet tall and a six foot. Well, anyway, hey, Yikes. listen, we've run out of time now. If I call you again, say in a couple of weeks, am I going to be talking to you in uh, Vegas? Most likely, yeah. We got to be out of here by the eighth, so we're moving on the seventh. So uh, you'll be talking to me on the floor of my brand new living room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Furnished by the Chicago Spiegel Catalog, Chicago 60609. Back to you, Art. Thank you very much, Stephen. Thank you very much. We will still be talking. I will just be uh, about 500 miles away, or oh, whatever it is. But okay. we will continue our interviews. Talk to you later. Doubt. Bye. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. Uh, wait a minute, hold on a second. I gotta turn on my light. Did the light go on? Yeah, it's on. Okay. It's that light back there. I had to turn it on. Hi everybody, how are you? Welcome to the program. Uh welcome to our uh, section of the program where we start talking with our citizens panel. In case you've never joined us before and you don't know what a citizen panel is, then I will tell you it is a, a group of people not just one not just two but can be upwards to oh, i don't know about 10 other people uh talking uh and uh, conversing with each other and if you want to be part of that citizen panel just go to um, gabnet.net on the right hand side of the page there is a uh whole tutorial on how to use uh skype and how to get on the citizen panel including just a very handy little button you can push and it will dial the skype for you it tells you how to d download skype how to install it it's very simple the whole process is simple and then you can join in the conversation with other people here uh, our uh, there's also a phone number on that page as well that if you don't have skype or you don't want to use skype and uh, you want to call us you can call using that number which is hold on a second it's not as much fun when you use the phone because you can't see the other people and they can't see you, but it's 347-352-0079. That's 347-352-0079. If you forget that number, no big deal. Uh, just to go over to gabnet.net and there it is. And if you think you're going to miss any of the wonderful video on this show, the program is also on video uh, on that page. Uh, broadcast live okay so that's that's the rules that's what we do uh how you like the shirt huh i love the red boy the red looks great on this uh this is the new um uh, this girlfriend came back from the u.s uh, open today out in flushing meadows or wherever that is and uh she always brings me back a hat and a shirt so here's my hat and here's my shirt and this is the new this is the new logo for the US Open. They changed it. Uh remember all the other hats I've worn? Yeah. Uh but this is a this is a new one. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I <laughs> You know, if I want people to call me, I guess I should open the uh, Skype line, right? Yeah, that's what I'm going to I'll do that right now. Uh, so that people can call. Okay, the lines are now open. No wonder. I was sitting here going, why is nobody calling me? Well, they're not calling me because I didn't have the lines open. Um, so uh, uh, it's open now. The lines are open. So give me a call, okay, and we can, uh, we can talk to you. Boy, man, I'm telling you, my arm's killing me. Both arms are killing me. Because yesterday, girlfriend forced me... <laughs> to get my uh, vaccination, uh, not my vaccination, but my shot for uh, uh, what, uh, what, what's the thing where you get uh, the, the, uh, uh, the sores or whatever. I'm trying to remember what the, the thing is. Do oh, you, the, you, um, 
it's it's sort of like a vaccination. No, it's no, no, a, no, 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 no. A shot. It's a shot. Yeah. For uh, it's the second of two for what? I had it once. Uh, shingles. Shingles. Yeah, my second shingles shot. Uh, it's it's a double shot of shingle shots. I went to get the single shingle shot, and uh, they told me they were out of it. Yeah, well, they 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 go by you through them fast. We had yeah. she she. I was getting the getting the uh, uh, the uh, uh, computer fixed yesterday or looked at, yeah. and I'm there. She says, "Run over! You have to rush over to the drugstore and get the shot." And I'm going, "Oh God!" You know, I'm I'm in the middle of this whole thing, and now I've so then I had to take a cab back rather than take the subway, and. Uh, uh, and then they also so in this arm they gave me the shingles and in this arm they gave me this year's flu shot and in the middle of the night I woke up and boy were my arms aching it sounds yeah. like a joke well uh, yeah I took my car into service and uh, they uh, needed to keep it overnight because they found something so what ended up happening was they don't have a shuttle anymore hey Kevin uh, they they call an Uber or a Lyft for you. I have never taken an Uber or a Lyft, and I, I tell you, it wasn't so bad. I get a text message says the guy will be there in four minutes. This is your driver. This is his license number. This is his car. Uh, I get there. The guy. This, this, me, this says, is this is his style of rape. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah, yeah. He he greets me. He says, uh, what, what's that? What's that, what's Kevin, that? that you held up? Uh, a super prep. <laughs> oh, oh, oh well, we'll talk to you about that in a minute. Yeah, so the guy, the guy greets me. I get in. He says, there's water here or mints, whatever you'd like. Uh, he takes me to the thing. It was seamless, comfortable, clean. Uh, I gave the guy a tip, but the... Uh, yeah, but I've heard horror uh, stories about them, too. I tell you, I, it was because you don't. If this experience you, 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 was anything well, like yeah. what you normally get. It was, it was excellent. Yeah, but you don't know what you're getting, and also with the surge pricing, you don't know what you're going to be paying. You see, you didn't have to pay, right? Because the garage, right, Toyota paid. Toyota paid, but it it's surge pricing, and so all of a sudden, a trip that normally would cost you, you know, ten dollars by cab is twenty dollars by Uber because it's surge time. Yeah. yeah. Well. Uh, did you uh, hear uh, uh, I, uh, there was a news thing today? It was your buddy Tucker, but they were talking about uh, Bezos and Zucker and uh, uh, well, mostly Bezos. You mean, because Zuckerberg. I guess you mean Zuckerberg? No, no, not Zuckerberg. Zucker from CNN. But oh, oh, uh, Zucker. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Okay. Jeff it Zucker. seems as though he's not from uh, C. He's not uh, Zucker. Is Zucker from CNN? He, yeah, he's the, uh, yeah. I guess he is CNN. Yeah. Well, anyway, Carlson? the no, uh, it, it, yeah. Tucker so what? What? Fox. Well, what he was saying was, is that uh, employees at Amazon are getting food stamps, and they're going through the same experiences that the Walmart employees are going through, and that uh, they're they're collecting, mm -hmm. you know, uh, supplements and, and, and welfare, and what, and what did, they're not and, making enough money. And what did Amazon say? Uh, well, they have an answer. Oh, to yes, it, they you know. have. Uh, what did they say? They said, no, it's wrong. We pay them over, uh, well over minimum wage, and uh, this is a lie. Well, there wasn't, uh, that, that didn't come up in the, well, uh, the news well, the, segment well, the, that I heard. Uh, well, the news segment you heard was obviously mm -hmm. biased because they didn't give the other side. Right. Well, Here's they also bit. talked about Uber and that the drivers weren't even making minimum wage, and a lot of them had to be subsidized wait, 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 by uh, Hold on a second. Uh, hold, hold, on, hold on a second. Uber operates like a taxi. You pick up mm -hmm. a lot of fares, you make a lot of money. It, there's no such thing as minimum pay. There's no hourly wage I at Uber. What I'm just retell, I'm telling you what I heard on the news segment. Oh, oh but wait a minute. Was, wait, is this the fake news you keep talking about? No, no, no. This is the real news. The oh, fake I see. News I, see I see. This isn't yeah. the fake news. The, the fake news is what you so, watch. So it's interesting <laughs> that it, when something is a total story. fabrication... You you go along with it, but when it isn't, now, it's let, fake news. Let me ask you something. Here I am opening up a discussion of something that I yeah, heard. Yeah, well, you're opening it up open for discussion. You're, you're but you close it, your ears. No, you're opening and you it up. Close your you, eyes to begin with. You're opening to, it up way. The whole conversation. You're opening it up way too early in the show to begin with. Well, 
I have other stuff for later. <laughs> you know. What is this? All right. This isn't your show. It's my show. Well, I watch the news. You know, you don't, obviously. But, I, what do you yeah. mean? Well, you told me you don't. Well, I know. I you didn't told say. everybody you don't. No, I, that, that was the last year that I wasn't watching the news. I watch it now. Oh. Oh, yeah. did you hear what happened last year? Oh, I guess you didn't hear what happened last year. Trump's the president. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. So if you want to talk about this stuff later, let's talk about uh, bowel prep. Well, you know, let's, let's talk not, about bowel prep. And then we'll, get, then we'll get to Amazon, which, uh, which had a reply to that. But obviously Fox decided, uh, or Tucker Carlson decided it wasn't a good story to report what they said. Okay, yeah. but we'll get right. to that. We'll get to that in a moment. Bowel prep. Are you going in for your colonoscopy tomorrow, are you? Yeah, in the morning. In the morning. Now, have you taken the bowel prep yet? I just finished dose one. Oh, boy. Well, you're going to be leaving us every now and then. Yeah, probably. No, don't try to shit in the cup. Believe me, it, it takes more <laughs> room. <laughs> oh, you don't want me to do what Ray did either and take you on location. Oh, no, 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 no. You want to be home. You want to be near a toilet. But here's my yeah. question to you. Here's my question to you. Did you did you ch ask the doctor about the magnesium citrate? Well, you know, I went that first time and, you know, they tried to charge me 100 bucks for the same the same box here. Yeah. 100 bucks for this. Mm. And I went back and told them that they tried to charge me that much for it. And they said, just stop by and she reached down into the file cabinet and pulled one out and said, here, for, for, for nothing. Really? Yeah. Well, did, did you threaten them with anything, or they just... No, I just went by and told them they tried to charge me that much, and she said, oh, I'll give you a sample, and it was the exact same thing. They wanted to help flush you out, huh? I guess. I guess he doesn't want to have nothing, uh, yeah, but... uh, no accidents on the table or whatever. <laughs> Well, uh, well, you know, usually it's cherry flavor or something. Is that rhubarb flavor or something? Is why uh, it's it tasted a little bit like uh, orange, but uh, it didn't last long enough for me to taste it. It just went down. So you just, it, it, in other words, you didn't have to take like a gallon of this stuff. This isn't the thing where you take a whole gallon of it it's over a bottle a about like this. Good, and then the, good. You mix it with the uh, sixteen ounces of oh. water, and then you got to chug water for the next hour. Oh, okay. Well, that's easier. Uh, but the, uh, the magnesium citrate is just a little bottle, and you just down the bottle. I actually yeah. put it in ginger ale so that I could... Uh, I don't know what this is. This is... Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't have my glasses. I can't read it. Well, I want to see when this. Citrate, I, I yeah. want to see when this stuff hits. It's going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're, you're, you're going to be running. <laughs> is there a bathroom nearby? Yeah, right across the hall, about 10 feet. About 10 feet. Okay, well... And I've been eating nothing but jello all day, so it should be fun. Uh, you yeah. know, as soon as he has to go, Alex, start asking him a lot of questions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Cool. Now, wait a minute, you said that uh, uh, you t a jello today? What, what, yeah. what, I hope it wasn't red jello. You can't do red no, jello. No, no, I, I kept to the uh, green, and they told me green and orange would be okay. Yeah, because red would mask what they see if there's a polyp yeah. there or something. Yeah, uh, I, I just you know I always found it disconcerting that my doctor was actually looking in up my asshole and could tell what I had for dinner, you know, or yeah. whatever. But no, he to actually get a bunch of actually corn. the last time he said to me, he said, "Boy, he said you really cleaned yourself out well," and I was so proud of myself. Yeah, you know? like it was a That's major. That's what I'm hoping for. It was a major a clean tunnel. well my wife has to go back for another colonoscopy because she wasn't clean enough they found a lot of poop in there so oh. you want to get it when i had the cystoscopy the guy told me that he could see the stuffed derma that i had during my bar mitzvah well, well the, the <laughs> no well, the, the cystoscopy is a, is the sissy colonoscopy yeah okay. well you've had a regular colonoscopy haven't no. you really no, I poop in the in in the uh, and then they, they you take a little bit of it on a stick. Yeah, that and you that, put that, it in that isn't thing. that isn't as accurate as if you go in with a colonoscopy. And Kaiser says around. they don't do a colonoscopy now until you're 65. So uh, that's they, that's idiotic. Because I know they, if they, you if I your family 50, if, if your family had a history of I, colon I don't cancer, know. Every, my family's dead. You want to start doing it at 45. You know, so I don't. Well, my I'm, my father died at forty four, so uh, 
you know, he, he never, I don't know if there's a family history. He, he never had time to get colon, uh, colon right. cancer. Yeah, I, um, uh, the first time I went, I was 65, and I had a couple of polyps, but none of them were pre-cancer. Well, they were, I think it was one pre-cancerous one, but that was about mm -hmm. it. And then since then, I've had, you know, I had one the last time they, they went in there. Uh, so they get rid of the polyp, and once they get rid of the polyp, that's it for colon cancer. It's it's literally the best thing you can do. But a sigmoidoscopy, I had one of those, and then they said, well, now you should go for the full colonoscopy because we don't go all the way up into the colon. We don't go to the area where a lot of the polyps are found. So, I see. Yeah, last one I had was at 50, so it's been 11 years. So Yeah, but every, if, every 10 years, they say. Approximately, yeah. yeah. They seem to feel that the, the pooposcopy uh, is uh, is an indicator of whether they should go in and do a colonoscopy. Well, that, that, that I, I disagree with that. I really disagree with that from everything okay, I know. Okay, Dr. Bennett? No, yes. I mean, I have probably <laughs> a, one of the best gastroenterologists in, in, in town, and he's, uh, he's uh, over at Mount Sinai and teaches over at Mount Sinai. And he uh, he said that, you know, uh, if if you if you don't have it, if you don't have any polyps, you don't need to come back for five years. This was when I was uh, when I did the seventy year old one. Okay, yeah. uh, then when I did the one at seventy five or something like that. They found one, and he said, "Well, he said the good news is that once you turn seventy five, you never do them anymore." But he said we just might do one because we found a, a polyp in there, and we, you know, just to be on the safe side, you know. Uh, but that basically at 75, they stop doing colonoscopies because they figure, you know, you're going to be dead before if you don't have a polyp. It's going to mm -hmm. take a good 10 years before it develops into cancer. All right. Yeah, and then you just suffer and and uh, shit in the bag. Uh, for uh, well, the they, rest of your they life. they figure if you're 75, you're probably going to be dead by 85, so why do a colonoscopy? Yeah. Yeah. But what happens if you live to 90? Huh? <laughs> you live to well, 90 uh, and you're suffering that, then, you got, then you got a problem, you know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, how would you like to be John McCain's mother? She's still alive. She's, what, 106? Six. Yeah, I think so. 106? And her son yeah. just died. My God. Yeah. Now, does she live in Arizona? Uh, I don't know. Well, you know, I think those kinds of climates. You were uh, you inter your interview with Stephen Pearl earlier. He's moving to Las Vegas. Yeah. And uh, I think that the heat fries people. Now maybe he won't go outside until nighttime. So you know it'll it'll get down what to ninety. What do you mean he fries people? Well, you know that's look at look at how angry they are in the Middle East. All right. Uh, you know the people are angry. It's 120 degrees. Boy, They're boy. killing where each other. You, where did you get your science degree? Well, in the same place you got your medical degree. But you know uh, <laughs> that means so global warming is. I, good, I, I got my medical degree from. They stuck one up my ass. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you enjoyed it? Not really. I was out for the whole thing. That's the best yeah. part. The best part is the two seconds while the drug takes hold. Because they yeah. give you propofol, then you, you you understand what that's, Michael that's Jackson. That's what they gave me uh, when I had my uh, prostatectomy. Right. But I didn't get a high or a rush. Uh, I was just out. And, it's amazing uh, though that when you wake up, it's like somebody edited out a certain period of your life. Yeah. It's like you go from this to the doctor looking in your face, you know, and saying, "Yeah, yeah, yeah you okay? Everything fine? Yeah, we just you're all over. We're all through. You know." Yeah, well, it's like going to sleep and no dream. It kind of, yeah, but it's it's yeah. more. It's like editing out. A, like I found with the colonoscopy, they edited out twenty five minutes of my life. I don't know what went on in that twenty five minutes. I will never know what went on in that twenty five minutes. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like the rest of my life. <laughs> what did you do to me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I uh, so they're going to put you out, Kevin, right? Uh, I don't know. They didn't tell me. They said that they probably will keep me partially awake because I got CPAP and all that. Uh, yeah, it, it's funny. They uh, when I when they put me out and they went to incubate me by putting a tube down my incubate. throat. Uh, yeah. Okay. Incubating uh, you would be that they, that they put experience. you under a light and let you hatch. 
<laughs> so it, yeah, so so when they put me under the lights, yeah, uh, uh, what ended up happening was they said I started to flail and because uh, I I use uh, I, I use a CPAP as well, and so they they said that I was tossing around the nurses uh, even though I was out, yeah. and uh, so they uh, rather than do a tracheotomy which they were considering, mm -hmm. uh, they put a trumpet which is uh, this six eight inch tube up my nose uh, into my sinus cavity oh. and uh, then they didn't have to stick the uh, thing down my throat I, I was very lucky that the anesthesiologist knew what he was doing well, I, folks, I, I hope, you're, I, I hope you people are enjoying yeah. this discussion out there if you're not you know you could call right <laughs> I, you know I, I told him I had I'm thinking making this show only an hour every night and then if you don't call within the first half hour uh, I, I, you know yes. Yeah. Because uh, there you go. You know why should I sit here? Because now people are starting to call later on in the show, and I'm going. Why do I do the first? Excuse <laughs> me, sneeze. <coughs> yeah. Mm. Bless you. Why do I do the first uh, hour or so? I may as well not. Just do an hour. <laughs> you know. Well, it, ke it keeps your. Uh, you know, just like you found out on on Sunday, it keeps your uh, chops up. Oh, yeah, that kept my chops up on Sunday. Oh, yeah, I think that uh, doing this... Yeah, but if I never uh, do it again, how did it keep my chops up? You know, if I do it every week, it keeps my chops up. Well, you do this four nights a week and for uh, for an hour and a half. Yeah, but it's a, uh, it's a waste. Look, I open the lines, and so, sometimes we're packed at the beginning. I don't know why. All of a sudden, boom, 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 people call. And then there are the nights like this where I'm looking at, at two people who I absolutely adore... Well, not fair, fair. not fair, <laughs> uh, and and who can't adore you know Kevin because he looks like Santa Claus. Uh, uh, you look here comes Santa Claus. Yeah, here yeah. comes yeah. Santa. Claus. Uh, you can't have a. Yeah, I got my quality. first call last night. What for Santa? Yeah. Look, is is it early in this year? Is it coming in early, or is that? Yeah, I think so. I, the guy left a message, but it was half half gone so i have to call him back oh, i bet out. you're i bet you're one of the most asked for santas yeah you, i don't know I, I i don't i don't push it a lot because I, kid, I, I get tired doing it the kids can yank on your beard oh they do yeah. you know yeah. and it and it won't it won't come out it won't fall off yeah. or anything like that yeah how many phony santas do you know out there with those fake beards i should i should charge you know like five bucks a yank or something <laughs> yeah yeah you can yank it five bucks yeah. <laughs> well, just just to finish the CPAP story. Oh Jesus! Uh, I did nothing better yeah, than I, a good CPAP story. Yeah. Uh, let the guy know. The CPAP. By have... the way, for folks who don't know what a CPAP is, undoubtedly he snores Continuous badly at pressure, night. Continuous air pressure. He snores badly at night, and it wakes him up, and he has to wear this mask and sound like Darth Vader when he's sleeping. Yeah. Uh, actually, I got a new machine. This thing is silent, and I use the pillows that just go right there, and they're comfortable comfortable compared to the mask. And, uh, uh, you know, I don't know what you're using, but I'm using a ResMed 10. And the thing is fantastic. Oh, this is really, come on, everybody. Call your friends to listen to this. Uh, this yeah. Is, <laughs> you know, you know it, how many everything you ever wanted to know apnea? about CPAPs. You know. you know how many people have sleep, sleep apnea? Uh, a ton no, of it is. There's a lot more people than you think. Well, yeah, even to begin Ray with, to, begin with, has sleep apnea. to begin with, I think it's a um, disease du jour. Uh, yeah, disease du jour. Yeah. No, let me let me let me tell you. I by the way, once, where is I Ray Renati? Where, where's Ray Renati been the last couple of nights? Uh, I think he's got a play he's working on. Oh, okay. Uh, so. Anyway, uh, and I think it's going to take place on the 15th uh, of September, so I, I think they're rehearsing. Uh -huh. uh, well, any, anyway, the, um, uh, the, uh, what, what was happening was I wasn't using the CPAP machine for a couple of years because I hated it. And everybody who uses them hates them, and I had an older one. Uh, so oh, boy. I started. This is, this, I, boy, this is really great. Well, listen, you know, Great you drive stuff. and you stop at a stop sign, you fall asleep with your foot on the brake. Uh, I, you know, I was living about uh, 30 minutes, 25 minutes away from my store, and I would have to pull over halfway and take a 15 or 20 minute nap just to make it home. It, it, there, you know it, something? 
Yeah. Uh, if you keep up with this, I'm going to have to take a 10 or 15 minute nap just from the boredom. Well, hey, this is like a public service announcement. Uh, it, you know, using that again, uh, if you don't use it, you can have heart problems. Uh, there's all sorts of uh, you know, issues. You know, that I, you know how I stopped my snoring? You lost weight. I lost 55 pounds. And my wife says I don't snore anymore. Yeah? Yeah. Well, uh, but you sleep in the other room. N no. Uh, she snores. She does. <laughs> <laughs> she does. I mean, you know, I mean, uh, uh, sometimes it's profound and other times it's just, you know. Well, I don't think it matters. The uh, weight doesn't seem to matter with this stuff. Look at Ray Renati. He's a triathlete, or he, he was, and he's still in great shape. He exercises no, he, he every day. he said he tries to be an athlete. That's no, he, he was a triathlete. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and so... He's 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 run a, a number of triathlons. I know he uh, said he did the Ironman in Hawaii, mm -hmm. and you know here's here's a guy that's in that kind of shape. Even though he's you know he's getting on in years compared to where he was when he did that. Yeah. Uh, and he's got sleep apnea. I, I don't think it matters uh, weight or uh, you know I mean it's, the weight helps. Well, you know d d doctors were like pushing this a lot, uh, mm -hmm. and it it doesn't necessarily. Maybe there's a lot of people that needed it. Well, some people may not need it. They may have a slight snoring problem. They may stop breathing during the night once or twice a, a week or something like that, and that's not no. enough to indicate they, that you but, need it. Before, before they prescribe one of these machines, they do something called a sleep study. They hook you up to a bunch of Yeah, I know, uh, I know. And probes. then they say go to sleep. Yeah, sure. Right. My wife well, tried that. Sleep. She couldn't go to sleep because of all the stuff that was hooked up to her. Well, get her drunk, but, uh, and, you know. And, and, yeah, go ahead. Uh, so what happens is uh, it, it they can determine how many times a night you stop breathing. And uh, if it's over a certain threshold, that's when they prescribe the machine. So they're not just going to give you the machine without testing you to see if you need it. Well, maybe I want something on my nose all night. Yeah, cocaine. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, don't I have a right to buy one without a prescription? No. Could hook it up to nitrous oxide. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be yeah, good. they've got uh, they've got a, a, a hookup online that I could hook it up to oxygen, and uh, but yeah, I don't need it. I, I like breathing oxygen. By the way, you know what I received? I I, um, I I went to my door today. I opened it, and there was a package for me. Yeah, what was that? And I and I uh, brought the package in, and I looked to see who it was from. It was from Albert Reynoso. Hmm. Uh, I opened it up, and what was it? Remember the thing he talked about? He said, you want this, boy. He said, he, when, when he first, uh, he said, Alex would really want this. And he, I said, what is it? And he told me, and I said, I wouldn't want one of those if my life depended on it, right? So yeah. he sent me one. Have you seen these things that put your socks on you? Oh, those are great. It, well, oh. wait a minute. No, I, I haven't bought one yet. Explain but. to me why you can't just take a sock and put it on your foot. Because I'm 60 pounds overweight. <laughs> you know, think about so it. He, so he sent me one of those. And I looked at it and I went, you know, it looks so complicated to use. You know, that I wouldn't even use it if I was, I, I don't know who would need this thing. What, fat Well, people? it worked for me when I had my knee operated on because I couldn't bend down there. Oh, okay. And my, and my left ankle, it, it's fused, so it, it, it helps, you know, sometimes with that. Yeah. I can put it on most of the time. But well, if, well, if I can I see it if you yeah. have a medical condition, but if yeah. you're just fucking lazy, you know, yeah, yeah, you don't deserve to own one of these things. So he sent me this thing. <laughs> It works pretty good, though. As a thank you present for staying here for a week. <laughs> and it's got the, it's, yeah, it's really complicated, but it's got a little hook on there. And if you work the hook right, you can pull your sock off. And yeah, oh, yeah. Bit. Oh, it's, it's a, it's a, Some, it, somebody spent a lot of time inventing that damn thing. Well, and I guess people buy them because yeah. he obviously went into a store to buy it because it said on the box as seen on TV. Yeah it, it, yeah, it is on TV. That's yeah. where I saw it. Yeah, but and you can order it on TV. But I think it was also in a store, and he f found it. And there, yeah. he, 
He went to all if, the trouble. I have to give him I give him credit for a joke. He had he had to go to the post office. He had to pack the thing up. He had to mail it. If to you me. order it on TV, <clears throat> you can get a second one just for shipping and handling. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which is just like ten ninety five. Yeah, it was just ten. Right. Yeah, right. A lot of money. <laughs> and the thing only cost three bucks. Yeah, yeah. I think they got him at the Walmart, you know, and you're standing there walking on the walking out the aisle or whatever. So Walmart any, people need that. Any of yeah. you losers out there going to actually call us tonight? Yeah, Renee's having a ball on the chat with us. Yeah, she Renee's on the chat, but she doesn't call. Yeah. You know? Come on, Renee. Get off the oh. chat and Come on, Renee. call us, okay? Let's see. We got a Allison. Gotta if you're take my if place you're, when I head for the can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. He's going to have to go to the bathroom a lot. We need somebody in there as a replacement. Uh, Allison called last night. Allison, if you're out there, you know, that was a good call. Yeah, well, it was a wonderful call. You know, of a woman again. Another. She joins your club. I don't remember her. And, <laughs> and I and I and you know, I mean, I. I, I um, should show you. I, she remembers. I part, she, the funny me. part is, she, she remembers well, let's me. Let's take a left turn. Did you watch the funeral today? No. <laughs> well, let me finish. She she not only uh, you know remembered me, and where we went mm -hmm. to dinner, which I've told you about before on the show, and a lot of people didn't believe it existed. Where you walk through an armoire, and it's like uh, Narnia. Uh, Narnia. Uh, you walk through an armoire, and uh, there was a restaurant on the other side. And then she could identify certain parts of my anatomy. So I think she, she, uh, you know, she, she was the real deal. So anyway, thank you, uh, Allison. Allison Goodman, I think, was her name. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so where are we? Okay. So if nobody uh, else is going to call, just be the two of us and him running off to the bathroom now. Do you have, feel like you have to go yet? No, not yet. Not yet. Uh, you Cause, will, because it <laughs> happens sure. all of a sudden. You know, and then about two o'clock in the morning, they got to have me take another one of them shots of that stuff. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, you mentioned the funeral. Now, I hadn't watched the funeral, but I understand. We're going that, from uh, a colonoscopy to a funeral. Okay. Yeah, a tribute, yeah that's what I figured. We'd our go, tribute we'd go to right John McCain tonight can, it, it, it contains a, a talk about uh, his colonoscopy. So, <laughs> and CPAP machines. Well, anyway, Sarah Palin was asked not to attend. Yeah. Oh, really? I wondered whether she was going to come or not. Yeah. yeah, she wanted to, I guess, but she was actually asked by the family not to attend. Uh, you know, I think that's pretty shitty. on the same shitty. list as uh, she, Trump. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, she was pretty loyal to, uh, to McCain, and she never said anything disparaging about him. And he didn't say anything disparaging about her. He just said, I don't want that bitch at my funeral. That's basically the deal. Yeah. 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 Uh, he did. He, you know, he planned this whole funeral. Yeah. yeah. He, about six months ago, he started planning it down, down to the last detail. Who was going to speak, where, when and how, what kind of music was going to be played, all of that. And yeah. and so he has uh, he he pretty well, I mean, thought, you know, came up with what his funeral was going to be like. Um and so far, yeah, it's going good. it's going pretty good. He I thought I, good. I thought Biden was wonderful today. I, I thought he was great. You know, um, he uh, uh, was, uh, I think, amazing, uh, uh, and and warm, and warm and real. You know, I like Biden. Yep. I like him. A I, lot. I I like the hell out of that guy. Yeah. I don't know why. I just I just like the guy. Yeah, he's the kind of person you'd actually like to meet. Yep. You know. He just has a warm quality about him. Look at Phil. Phil's holding his lip. <laughs> <laughs> he can't say nothing bad about him. Uh, you know, it, I, it's not worth saying anything bad about anybody. You know, oh, I'd, yeah. I'd rather yeah, not. Yeah, sure. Yeah, like you don't yeah. talk bad about people. Not really. Yes, you do. Who? I mean, I mention if I mention some some left winger, you'll always have some kind of dopey. I may comment. not ag I may not agree with them, but I'm they're entitled to their uh, way of belief, and I you know I'm not going to badmouth them, uh, or you know now if a guy's a crook like uh, let's say Manafort or uh, or somebody like that, a crook's a crook, and uh, you know as far as I'm concerned, you know uh, Cohen pled guilty. 
and these guys are no good, Republican or Democratic. These, but these are all people who, who you, the man you like considered to be people who are worthy of, his, uh, of, of, of being no. part of his team. Well, hey, people, uh, he considered him to be worthy I mean, of part I, of I his team. I wonder, where did he get but these people from? He did he fired, drain the swamp? He, no, well, he had Cohen, uh, you know, uh, for years, and Cohen uh, obviously concealed his uh, uh, was it debauchery? Uh, you know, the guy was a the guy was a thief. Uh, he uh, he lied on credit applications. He um, he he did a, a number of things. He thought he was above uh, whatever he was doing. He thought he could get away with Who, it. Who Manafort? No, uh, Cohen. Cohen, I think. No, I think Manafort's the one that lied to banks. Manafort did it too, but Manafort also hid money uh, offshore. Uh, tried to use that offshore money to to buy yeah, stupid absolutely. stuff. Absolutely, this is the kind of person that Trump makes his uh, campaign manager. Brilliant, hey, you know. Brilliant. Uh, uh, Hillary is worse than all of them, but well, how's you know, she I'm, worse? How's she worse than that? Who who on Hillary's team even comes to the scuzzy quality of a of a Cohen or a Manafort? Well, you know, you're not going to agree with my uh, thoughts that she was responsible for Benghazi. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, that's not the emails. question. That's not the question I asked you. Whitewater. That's not the question I asked you. Repeat the question. Apparently, you don't hear the questions that are significant. Uh, the, I hear significant questions, but I, my answer question, was my answer. The question but I once don't again understand is: why it wasn't, Tell me, uh, tell me somebody in that that Hillary asked to help her with her with her campaign, who comes to the low comes along with the low quality of a Manafort or a Cohn. Okay. Uh, uh, there were a number. Uh, there was a number of people that suffered at the hands of Hillary, and possibly no, 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 no. Wait a minute. We're not. That is not the question, Phil. Oh, okay. Uma Aberdeen and her boyfriend, or her there's husband. nothing wrong with Uma Aberdeen and her. Yeah, what and, about and, the husband? And the husband Wiener. was it was a he was a, a low life. A lo, no, and, uh, I don't know if I call him a low life. I'd say uh, a person with a lot of problems. Okay. Well, you, people don't do this stuff unless they have problems. Don't you feel sorry you think for they want to lie on purpose. Well, he, and uh, he didn't. He. Well, wasn't he supposed to clean the to begin swamp with? And to begin with, Aberdeen. One? Aberdeen was her assistant, and there's never been anything bad said about her criminally or any other way. And who she marries is not a factor because he never had anything to do with Hillary's campaign. You can come up with all of these things, but they were people that were around no, Hillary. No, no, that, no, no. He wasn't around Hillary. Yeah. And uh, what well, about yeah, well, the, oh, yeah, the foundation? Yeah, you just the dismissed Clinton, that. The Clinton Foundation. The Clinton Foundation is... is, is we're not is, talking about... Uh, that's corrupt. not the question I asked, Phil. Yeah. Did, did, you, did, you, did you forget the question again? Maybe I you, you know say, I don't think you, that the, you, you said, ask a question. Yeah, I and said that what kind of a I guy has no has a person like Manafort run his campaign or Cohn be his personal lawyer, and then you said, well, how about Hillary? And I said, name people on Hillary's staff who are as bad as these people. Well, I can't think of any. Well, problem. then yeah. shut the fuck up. No, well, okay, Podesta. You know, uh, Podesta, uh, and, what's wrong? Yeah, and uh, you know what they did at the DNC and how they screwed your buddy Bernie, the socialist, out of uh, out of uh, you know a possible. That's all. Uh, that's all politics. We can talk about the way that our president screwed Hillary out of the presidency after after her I, getting I, I, after her getting three million people. more votes than he did. I think it was the people in the electoral college that she she you know if if you play a game you have to play by the rules if you don't play by the rules you either get disqualified and or I you think know. that these you're winning these aren't the rules these aren't the rules I was taught in school you know the rule I was taught in school he who gets the college, uh, he who gets the most votes wins that's what no, I heard that's that but this is a republic uh, and in a republic it, it's a representative republic. And this is the way our founding fathers set this up. And if you don't where, like it, where change on it. the United States does well, it go say, to Sweden? Where does it say the Republic of the United States of America? 
uh, in, uh, well, the Pledge of Allegiance. No, and no, also, no, no, no. Forget the Pledge of Allegiance because that is something that was written I for believe, a specific purpose. I believe it's in the Constitution. Uh, well, go find uh, it. I'd, go I'd find it. read it. Go find is it. Is it in the preamble? <laughs> I don't believe uh, so. You know, if if I go to find it, I always hear this not, thing about not, we're, half, we're a republic, and panel. this is the way a republic. Well, a republic sucks. So let's stop being a republic. Well, yeah, you know, it's been working fine for two hundred and twenty-five hey, years. If it didn't, if it didn't work fine, uh, if it worked against some candidate you loved, you'd hate it. Not necessarily. My candidates didn't get elected against Obama. They didn't get elected against Clinton. So you know, did I hate it? No. Uh, they became the president. I mean, was, let's was, face was it, I giving let's them face any it, money? Obama, no. Obama won fair and square. Yeah, and so did Trump. Two hundred and seventy is the thing. If they don't get two seventy, uh, and you know what, Trump even said when he was in Indiana today uh, that the the press and everyone else was saying you'll never see two seventy. There's no way you're going to win. The polls are against you. Even the Hungarians. And, you know, he ended up getting plenty of electoral votes and enough to become the president. And he got, did, got three million less votes. So three million yeah. people in America didn't want this guy as opposed a, to the ones who wanted him. He won matter. with a Those vast... three million won, lived in two states. It, well, they the, lived then in two is, states. Is, yes, and they played, the, they played the, the table. That's what they did. And it's also the right, it's gerrymandering okay. of congressional... Uh, 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 districts and things like that that caused all of Trump this to did, happen. Trump didn't gerrymander anything. Trump, the Trump Republicans played by the did. rules. The Republicans and Trump did. Won. He, Trump. Oh boy. Come on, you got to admit it. He played by oh, the rules. He won by he the won. by the system we have, but our system sucks. Well, that's too bad. You know, that's the system we have. You know, it's it's okay. You don't have to like it, but you know, if, if you can't fault the guy for doing the right thing. By the way, I'm going to say something right now. If nobody else calls this show tonight, I'm not do I'm going to stop doing this show. Okay? I'm oh, I, oh. you know, this is it for me. T tonight's the last night of this show if I don't see at least three more people before the end of the night here. Okay? Because I'm I'm tired of this. You know, yeah. some nights well, you decide see. to call, some nights you decide not to. Well, I don't hear from three at least three more people. Uh, I'm, I, there will be no show tomorrow night and perhaps ever. Okay. Oh, well, I, I, you know, I was kind of hoping that, uh, one of these days you'd go to one day a week or something, uh, you know, because you see, I, I fulfill my promises. I always keep a promise and you know, I hear every night because yeah. I said I'd be the best Wait a Wait panelist. A how is, how is, how are you doing, Kevin? Good. You don't, you, you, don't, in there. you don't feel that urge to go yet? Not yet. Drink another bottle. No, 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 no. I, I, I did good this morning. Let's just put it that way. So I don't, I'm not really feeling like I gotta go anywhere. You know? Well, you know, you're gonna, out you, good this morning. You're gonna go. You're gonna go until the liquid is clear. Yeah. You know, uh, and uh, it. You know, it, it's it's what, sounds pretty it, shitty. What happens to me when I get the trots from IBS? So. You know, join the join, yeah. join the club. Well, the last time I did it, I, well, I don't want to get into that. Well, last what time, happened last time? Well, the last time I did it, they had to do those enema things, and that was way back when. And it was like right now. Well, enemas, yeah, do it right immediately. Oh, um, yeah. God. The, the, the cystoscopy, I up. believe I had to do a, a, a fleet enema. Yeah. Getting that. those in is uh, is worse than anything. It was terrible. Yeah. Well, it's just like I, when it's just like when you've taken a dick up your ass, Phil. But I've I, never done that. That's a boy. <laughs> go get a garden hose for Christ's sake. Yeah. Well, it, it's a small garden hose, but yeah, uh, real. Jesus Christ, I don't know how they do it. Yeah. I can't even find it, let alone you know, get exactly. It in. So I didn't want to talk about it. Yeah. yeah. Love uh, the cup. You what? So, <laughs> Uh, so uh, I, I watched a few minutes of the U.S. Open. They had um, uh, guys there like McEnroe. Man, he's getting older. And he's um, the, he does the play-by-play. -play. Yeah, yeah, he's getting he's getting older. Well, yes, we all are getting older. If yeah. you don't die, you keep getting older. Yeah. Uh, so he what did Marjorie do think about that? Uh, 
What did Marjorie think about that girl that uh, took her shirt off? Oh, and we, were, we were talking about that yesterday. To begin with, when they said she took her shirt off, yeah, I went, I got to see this. You know? Yeah. Uh, it's a damn sports bra. It was a sports bra. What is everybody like a, getting apoplectic about? Nothing. She realized that she had her, um, her. Uh, uh, oh, here comes Chris Ritter. Okay. Uh, it, it, uh, hello, Chris. How are you, Chris? Good. How are you? Yeah. You and, saved the show, Chris. I'm not sorry. yet. I need two more people. Uh, 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 yeah, two more people. But anyway, uh, where was it? Help saving what the were show. We, what were we talking about? Uh, we were talking about the U.S. Open. We were talking, we were about, the talking US about the Open. Oh, yeah. shirt coming yeah, off. Yeah. So I, you know, uh, she, all she did was she realized that she had her shirt, the over shirt, yeah. on uh, backwards. Backwards. So she simply took it off and put it on the right way. She had a sports bra on, and there is she nothing. Even turned her back. So. There's nothing more unsexy than a sports bra, okay? Yeah. And it's certainly not going to show anything because the idea of a sports bra is to keep you from jump, bobbing up and down. Uh, it was so innocent, and guys, you know, when they're on that f there and they're they're all sweaty and everything, have taken their shirts off, right there, bare skin. Mm -hmm. You know, Doesn't the U.S. Open complain when they wear off-color clothes if it isn't no, white? No, that, 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 uh, uh, that's... Is that uh, Wimbledon? That's Wimbledon, yeah. They like white, but they've changed it now, obviously. What the hell is this? I don't know. Your screen oh, is showing Chris, Kevin and I. Chris just shared his screen, I think. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, get get rid of that. that. Yeah, he just shared his screen. Wait a minute. Get rid of that. What is that? Why? Chris uh, shared... He's sharing a screen somewhere. But how can okay. he? Oh, yeah, he, okay. There we go. Is it a oh, better? Okay. Because you've got the new Skype. Oh, oh that lets you share screen? Yeah. If you, yeah, if you hit that plus button down the bottom or something. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, I'm still using the old Skype. Yeah. Uh, it, it, yeah, it look, it, uh, and tomorrow's the day they were supposed to stop the Skype. But, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, I can see what's happening. It, what what happened there is you were able to also get your screen in there, and oh man, it's like weird. I'm, I was just looking at this because a couple of minutes yeah. late. Um, but anyway, uh, so I mean, I I didn't think there was you know I I didn't understand what the big hubbub was about it, and uh, guys do it all the time, but they go down to bare skin. You know, in, a, in the Olympics, there was a woman's soccer player, a, a, a volleyball player, I think, that uh, did the same thing. Yeah, Brandy Chastain. That's it, Chastain. And uh, there was uh, some hubbub about that. But it's the same get, thing, though. Well, BFD. Yeah. Well, get a fucking life, people. You know. Yeah, I and, mean, and the thing is that the guy made a big deal out of it, and it didn't cost any points or anything. It just got into her head. It wasn't a. It was a penalty, and all he did was. Is say that, you know, she she did it. That's all it was. Yeah. Now, Chris, are you down in uh, are you down in uh, Las Vegas? Mm -hmm. My yes. friend Stephen Pearl is moving to Las Vegas. What's yeah. the temperature like there during the summer? Are people baking? Why do you is do? Like why, Saudi why do Arabia? people come on? Do you suddenly do the interviewing? Well, <laughs> hey, it was what you and I were talking about. Well, yeah, there's a, there's a lot more asphalt here than there was 40 years ago, so that raises the temperature about 3 degrees, and it's, yeah. a, it's a basin anyway, and different parts of the valley are, are different temperatures, but it's pretty hot on the strip, and the tourists, they learn quick to carry water everywhere. Yeah, so. and, uh, you know, you don't go outside. You go inside the air-conditioned uh, 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 casinos and yeah. restaurants and things like that. Yeah. And that tall building looks real close, but it's actually uh, half a mile away or a mile away. They don't, they're don't; they fooled by the uh, optical illusions. And if there. you want to go out, there's not like a forest you can walk through. It's de a desert, for crying out loud. Yeah, there's was Joshua, Joshua Tree. Is that near? Uh... No, that's in California. That's uh, about a four-mile drive. But we do have a mountain that uh, is completely surrounded by desert called Mount Charleston. And uh, people do go up there, and they beat the heat. But it's it's about a mile, it's about an hour and a half from the strip. But it's uh -huh. near my house, so it's yeah. nice. Okay. So and yeah. you can always go out to Hoover Dam. You know, it's that's skiing. always yeah, possible yeah. too. So you're you're over an hour and a half away from the strip. No, I'm only about uh, thirty minutes okay. away. Okay. We're joined by Vernon Nunn, by the way, who is our uh, Morse code guy. Hello, Vernon. Are you there? Oh. I don't see his. Oh, picture. now oh, he's there. there. He Hello, Vernon. Are you there? Vernon? 
Hmm. He'll show up. Yeah. Uh, well. Yeah. I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway. Um, but that counts as another person. Does that count as another person? He doesn't have to say anything. There's a square on the uh, on the screen. You know. Uh, oh, I see. Are you there, Vernon? No. I. I, I he. He looks like he's. Uh, he, he might be having. Some, yeah. He's. He is. Yeah. Uh, uh, what? You, you, you're. I'm on my tablet, but I don't have a camera tonight. Oh, I see. You're on the tablet, but it's also breaking up like crazy. He might have that auto microphone thing on. No, that doesn't no, sound like because it, it got is. really loud at the beginning. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, are you okay, Vernon? How things been? I've been working too hard. You've been working too hard? What do you do again? I'm trying to remember. Well, besides being semi-retired, I work at Home Depot. I see. Uh, and do they treat you well at Home Depot? Yeah, for the most part, but today was a long day. I worked a full eight-hour shift, and then uh, I was watching GabNet on GabNet.net, and heard you say that if more people didn't show up you weren't going to have the show tomorrow night so. yeah well I, well you, you you've helped and now we only need one more and and i i, I will be a happy camper uh yeah. so at home depot do is it true oh, here the he beatings, goes his interview the beatings, again. Uh, the beatings stop when the attitudes <laughs> improve <laughs> hey you don't want oh. okay you do the interview but, then. I'll, I'll sit down and like watch to, you. I'd like I'll to, watch your work. Yeah, I'd like to ask a few people some questions. I, I, I'm calling from Hawaii. Oh, they have lava there, don't they? Yeah. Do they? <laughs> well, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked that. I scuba dove there once underwater. What? what? One thing I don't like is uh, the tax cuts that were given in December resulted in a windfall to the company and they raised the starting pay for everybody by a dollar an hour but those who are already working there they didn't get a raise at all oh oh so so if you were let's say you started before this and you were still at the starting wage would they still have given you one more dollar an hour or did they keep those people at the same wage kept them at the same wage so, in other words, there are some people just coming on, on to Home Depot who are making a dollar more than you. Yes. Well, what, hell, what kind of idiots are they? And I've, the been same... working there two, I've been working there two years. Wow. Have you gotten a raise? It... In, have you gotten a raise in those two years? I've gotten two forty cents an hour raises. Two yeah, forty cents. Yeah, my brother-in-law's been working there for like fourteen years in the same thing. Wow. 40 cents an hour. Where are you going to spend all that money? Hey, uh, it's the same deal you get when you signed up with Infinity or Comcast or AT&T and the new guy gets the good rate and you end up having to pay the increased rate. You know, no, you, you don't get the special no, no, on you, your cable. Well, no, you, 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 if you're already with them, they're giving an introductory deal like I have an introductory deal with Fios. But the thing right. is, in two years, if they want to raise my what I'm paying, I'll just tell them I'll go to Spectrum. Fuck you. Right. You know, I mean, well, I, I do have a choice. Well, Vernon can go to Lowe's. but uh, That's what they do. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, so, you know, what the, all, all I'm saying is, is that, you know, it's the same thing that Home Depot was doing to Vernon and, uh, and comparison to the new hires that our cable companies have been doing to us. And, you know, they just they just figured well, out well, how to this, do it. This brings us around to what we were talking about at the beginning of the show. And I wanted to wait till later to really get into a discussion of it in which which you said that uh, Amazon was being reviled for not having uh, uh, not paying their people enough money that they have to go out and get uh, government assistance supplements, supplements yeah. in order to live. And uh, you believe this story because you saw it on Tucker Carlson. I said I heard this story, well, you, and I was well, opening well, up as a conversation. Well, then, then, then by, by telling this story, you become fake news. Not necessarily. The guy says this is what the deal is. I, you know, open it up to discussion so we can discuss and it. And then Maybe I you asked you, my did mind. you hear what Amazon had to say about it? 
Yeah. Okay. And they said, no, we pay well above uh, a starting wage, well above uh, what do you call it, uh, 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 minimum wage. And um, uh, it's untrue that our people have to go get on the government dole in order to survive. You know, but that's just another rumor they try to pass, like the one they were passing before that, oh, you know, Amazon, uh, they get a cheap rate from the post office and therefore we're Subsidized. supporting Amazon. Well, the fact of the matter is, is that Amazon, like anybody, uh, uh, the post office, like anybody else, when they want Amazon's business, uh, have to um, vie for that uh, business. Yeah. And uh, you, you have to come in with a bid. And the post office came in with a low enough bid in order to be one of the partners that, uh, that existed there. Um, so that's, now you're you know, it, so it wasn't a case of that all of a sudden they're paying a cheap wage and that the American public is paying for Amazon. No, Amazon has enough business, a massive okay. amount of business that they're going to make the, the, uh, um, uh, the post office a living. Which well, if you, they didn't have if they didn't have Amazon right now they'd be in a lot of trouble. Well, you're a, you're a lefty, and you and your friends uh, like redistribution of income. Well, how do you think about Bezos being the richest man on the planet right now? And you know, he's got 150 billion dollars. And 150 billion. Does he need 150 billion dollars? Do you guys want to redistribute uh, his first 150 of, first of all, billion? Phil, he has 150 billion on paper. Not in fact, okay. No, you, okay, you wait. Let me, a lot of paper. Let, me, let me finish. Yeah. Like Trump. Okay. Phil. Yeah. Uh, secondly. Phil. Uh, yes, Phil. Vernon. Yeah. Uh, how come you talk about redistribution of wealth, but you never talk about redistribution of wealth when the Republicans pass tax cuts for the rich? If that's not redistribution of wealth, I don't know what is. I'm just asking about Bezos. No, you see, now you're diverting. Billion. You just got asked. Richest guy you, in the you world. Just, uh, got asked a question. Secondly, Bezos does not have to uh, take out of his pocket to pay his employees. It comes from the company, and the company pays it. It has nothing to do with his personal wealth, Phil. So you like to stick up for this guy? No, I'm not uh, that's sticking. Running around I'm, with 150 listen, billion dollars. Listen, he's a right wing creep, but I, uh, you know, uh, I don't like to see somebody getting a, uh, 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 you know, a lie thrown at him. Uh, hello, it's funny. Renee. Tucker Carlson I, said he was I, left. I, I, no, he's wrong. He's right winger. Uh, uh, his newspaper Aloha. in Washington. Yeah, I don't see a picture on you. What is the reason for that? I, <laughs> Yeah, there's a real reason for it. But if I tell you, you're just going to have a hissy fit. So I'm not uh, telling you. No, tell me. But, all right. So on Monday, I had a chemical peel put on. So uh, I made it to Costco yesterday. And today, I'm a molting lizard. So I And you can't peel stuff off. So I had two people coming to the house today. And I'm like, you know what? Forgive me. I can't put makeup on because there's no way to cover off the peeling. So I look really bad. And Kevin, the timer's still going. Tick tock, tick tock. Yeah, yeah we, no we, kidding. Yeah, well, we, we we got three though with you. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, you're <laughs> ta you're talking about Kevin's uh, 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 yeah prep. Waiting for him to go to the bathroom. <laughs> We're waiting. We've got a timer on Kevin to go to the bathroom. This, all, this wants to the, know. The, the, our our <laughs> citizen panel, ladies and gentlemen, ha has small needs. Uh, <laughs> you know, can we can we? You know, just like we did with Ray's shopping cart, can we say Kevin's going to wait, take another five minutes, somebody else takes seven minutes, you know, until he has to run off? And yeah. anyway, It's 44 anyway, minutes so far. Anyway, let me, let me go back to another, <laughs> another, <laughs> another, <laughs> another story that I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm amazed that uh, Phil didn't pick up on, and that's okay. the claim by conservatives. Oh, oh there he goes. Even are, you five going? Minutes. are you going? <laughs> are you ready? Do you feel Don't it? Don't do that do you in the feel bottle. It? Is, is there a grumbling? Can uh, you can you fit it in that bottle? Okay, Jesus. Jesus. They, you see first, the, oh, oh, that, that ounces that. went in. Sixteen yeah. ounces would come out. You know something? We do have a lot more people yeah. viewing the show tonight than we normally have, and I think part of the reason is they want to wait and see you run off to the bathroom. Well, and then also, Alex, we were having a conversation on the Skype or on the Skype chat, 
you know, we floated this idea a couple years ago, but now that more of your friends are moving to Vegas and or interested in going to Vegas, isn't it time to have an Alex Bennett, including Marjorie, uh, but isn't it time to have an Alex Bennett uh, retreat or something in Las Vegas? Oh, that we all go to Las Vegas? Yeah. She doesn't and, want yeah. to see us. To begin with, my wife doesn't want to go to Las Vegas. She used to say she did. No, she didn't. No, she she hates the really? idea of Las Vegas. Yeah. Huh. Well, then she's going away in the near future, and you're going to have some time on your hands, right? Well, she's going. And to you were Ch thinking about going to San Francisco. She's going to China in a week. Right. So you go into San Francisco, and you guys all drive over to Vegas, which is only eight hours, and we all the rest of us. Okay. My today. question is: Do you think I really <laughs> want to spend time with these people? You with us? <laughs> do you have a problem with us? <laughs> He's us four nights a week. He wants to go on vacation. I, I, and I'm us. sure Chris would be happy to put us up at his place. Plenty of room. The plenty of room. Plenty of room. But and then Albert wants to go to Vegas, and so does his wife. So does his wife. Uh, do they? I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, because they were. Remember, he said he was going to be in Florida for a little time, a little while, and then yeah. they're floating the idea of maybe moving to Vegas. Oh so, yeah, they did. You know, so he did we could probably that. get them to go. Yeah, I don't know. I just. You know, I, I, and Chris, I, I got to ask you this because I was talking about this to Stephen Pearl. I've been to Vegas uh, for more than three days. I found three days <laughs> is, is tolerable, okay? Uh, but after three days, I've gone for conventions, a consumer electronics show, and I was part of a group of people who were, we were running stuff, booths there. And I found five days in Las Vegas was more than I could take that by the end I was getting squirrely. I had to get out of there. Now, would I feel differently if I lived there? Well, when people live there, they tend to avoid the strip unless they have to work on it, and they yeah. ideally don't want to work on it, so it sort of becomes its own sectional city, similar to a St. George, Utah, or uh, another Mojave, a Mojave Desert type city. So it, it gets to be a little like Arizona, but you know, you have that option of going to the strip for some excellent sports or entertainment too, so there's do you, a plus. Do, do you go down to the Strip? Yeah, you know, you, when you move to Vegas, you become a tour guide for everyone you've ever met <laughs> in a way. And, and you, you actually, yeah, and you actually try to tailor, you don't want to hear people say that three days is all it takes, because that comes down to whether your tour guide was good or not, and whether they found the stuff that you specifically would like instead of what the hotel tries to sell you or the the, the down the strip tries to sell you. Yeah, so I, the, I, try, I try to take people off the strip 50% of the time. You try to get them over to Hoover Dam if that's what they like. Uh, you, you customize the trip for them. Hoover, and Hoover, Dam's a lot, Hoover Dam's a lot of fun. I enjoyed but that tour. Engineers Don't. love it. It's, it's like one of the wonders of the world to them. Kids might think it's boring. I, uh, haven't, I haven't walked across the walkway. It's up, right? The, the, the walkway? Yeah, they have a new they have a new driveway, and you can walk. You've been you, you've been able to walk across it for a long time now. Yeah, right. I thought they had a new suspension going across the top of it. Was that for automobiles? That's so you have to drive down. Mm -hmm. uh, Renee, okay. what? There's why, another why level. Wait a minute. Hold on there. a second. There's another level there now, or something? Yeah, it's a huge overpass in a way, so you don't have to go slowly and crawl across the very top of the dam, which is I think a two lane. Highway. Yeah. yeah. But it's nice if you've never been, it's really great to go on that two lane road. It really is. But if you've seen it, I'd like to see the view because it's got to be a hell of a view from the new bridge. Have yeah, you been on it? Do you um, know that? No, know? I've seen the bridge from the dam. <laughs> but, but, uh, and then you, you go on the lake and you do Lake Mead and all that. Do but, you know that the concrete, uh, so much concrete in mm -hmm. Hoover Dam that mm -hmm. I think maybe it wasn't till about a few years ago, whatever it was, 75 years later, that it finally completely cured, that the center was still, draw, still not curing. Not, yeah. Still curing, yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah. that's how And much. the other thing about Vegas is they have, you can go shoot um, all sorts of stupid, crazy, stupid guns. Right, Phil? Yeah, well, the, you oh. can. they have that. You can race cars well over 100 miles an yes, hour. Yes, I never wanted and to do that There was a fatality, one. and you can also, uh, you, if you, you can uh, take a little course, and you're allowed to handle heavy, heavy machinery like cherry pickers and earth movers, 
they have a lot of weird things for bachelor parties here like that that are very very macho why would you oh, want a cherry picker around. why would you want a cherry picker for a bachelor <laughs> no, party? guys just like doing that those 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 things where you get to you know handle those huge huge machines you know those huge trucks tractors but they the, people come up with strange ideas here and they fl- they try things out here there's the inventors in this country they tend to come here and they try to you know monetize their their inventions here and of course we have the the parachuting you can you can take a little plane to the grand canyon and get back to the strip the same day mm-hmm. um so there's a lot of things that are it's a lot of weird things here and uh, this well is the place you know the other thing up. the other thing that i heard a few years ago uh, vegas changed the way it was trying to attract people it, it suddenly decided it was going to try and attract families that was and, years ago and, and that's that why, was that's, that's, why, I'm, yeah. that's why i moved 15. in and, and, yeah. yeah, that was 90, 92, 93, Time Magazine. Yeah. Uh, but they figured out that people with kids don't spend money or gamble. And that's why they just changed the way they were doing business. Yeah, again. And, and if you hate your kids, you gamble away their college, but most people don't hate their kids, so it, it yeah. backfired a little bit. Yeah. yeah, their kids hate them. So they uh, after that, they went after singles, and they said, come on in, and they went after international whales again. By know, the way, so. I'm keeping an eye on this. Kevin was looking a little edgy. seconds. Uh Uh-oh. You might not. (laughs) You've got nine more minutes. He's got (laughs) ten feet. Ten feet. I've been looking at the door. So close, Kevin. This this would be a great great, uh, great bit for a a reality show. So, Phil, don't you have a water sound? Can't you put on a water trickle sound No, no, that has nothing to do. That will not make him go. Uh, That only makes you want to pee. What is that? No, I don't have the water sound. Oh, good try. Yeah, but but, but no, but it, it, that would only make him want to pee, not poop. Yeah. You know. Well, we all know. Uh, Get so some out of the chair. So anybody who's <laughs> never been through this, at one point in time, it no, it it's all one. It's not. There's not two separate entities, and there's no bowel movement and water really urine release it's all one huge flush so stop telling him wrong because <laughs> it's gonna not matter soon <laughs> yeah, so how a... come how come you guys you know just love to visit a uh, thing that was named after a republican you know you hoover, dam. hoover dam well hey, they oh. did change it you know at one point it was, no, gonna... it was it was originally boulder dam yeah. And then they changed oh, yeah. it to Hoover Dam, and then I believe I they went believe back it. to Boulder Dam again at some point. Isn't it? Is it Boulder Dam now, or is it Hoover? Chris? Hoover. Yeah, it, it's Hoover. Back, it might have moved back and forth twice, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, you, you mean like Boulder, Colorado, kind of Boulder? Yeah, Boulder mm-hmm. Dam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. And there's a little town there called Boulder City, and yep. all the workers live there, and they outlawed gambling because they didn't want them to go poor while they're building the dam. That's the one thing about Las Vegas is I don't gamble. I rarely drink, uh, you know, maybe a glass of wine, and uh, you know, there's yeah, not but much. Yeah, you, you can eat yourself stupid. Yeah, you, I yeah, guess you, you could with, <laughs> with cheap buffets. You know what I mean? Well, no, wait, 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 hold on a second. You yeah, haven't really been to the good, good buffets. They have a buffet well, over at the uh, what, what's the big fancy the Mirage? hotel? The at uh, the Mirage, that's amazing. Or what, it was know, at least amazing. Maybe was it, it called maybe I was the, at the wrong yeah. one? Maybe I was at the a breakfast buffet or something. You know, no, but I, don't, at, I didn't at, see at, anything that was so amazing at the Mirage. The, the one I went to it was, was a first date. Very good stuff. You know, they've got fifty dollar buffets now. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. Oh, disgusting. And I know, I know people from Palo Alto who they they're foodies and they come down to Palo. Alto, they come down to Vegas. They don't go to buffets, but they really they yeah. Really, there's a they, do yeah. a really good job and spend lots of money on their uh, extraordinary food. We have a lot of good chefs here. That wasn't yeah, a lot there. of good chefs. So, yeah. I you agree know, with him. Yeah. I, 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 uh, I always play it safe. I just go to Ruth Chris. And then and right around the corner from Ruth Chris, there's a Moroccan place I like. Yeah. yeah. No, so what's awesome. the name of the Rio bar or the Rio restaurant in the Mandalay? Or is it over in... Anyway, there's a really hot Brazilian restaurant that just has incredible food. And Too I can't much remember. food in those Brazilian restaurants. They That's keep coming bizarre. around. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, where they take the skew. Yeah. 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 
But so we're going to, instead of gamble our way through, I'm going to shop and eat, and Phil's going to eat. But what and can I do? I, I'd, I, rent, I'd rent a Harley and just drive oh. out into the desert. Well, what can I do? You know? I'm on a diet, you know. Although I could do low carb at those buffets because you can, you can do yeah. all the meat stuff. You yeah, know? they have plenty of roast mm-hmm. beef. Yeah, a lot of roast beef. And shrimp. and Yeah, lamb, yeah. yeah, so I could do lobster. that. But outside of that, I don't gamble, you know. Yeah. That's uh, what well, I was saying. Yeah. And I we don't, should go I don't see going to be there for shows. Well, you know, do Make I really Penn and Teller do, have you over? Well, I, oh, I, yeah. I, I, when I, are they doing a show? I can get free tickets to see Penn and Teller, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and you I, act after like I that's saw, not a big deal. It's a big deal. Do you deal. know There's they've been there? I didn't realize this. They've been there, what, almost 25 years now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got here in 2001. <laughs> yeah. I believe 2001, and uh, and that that's worked out great for them. And yeah. I think yeah. they have the record for the longest continuous show where they aren't rotating people in and out of blue face or anything. So they've, cool. been here, they've been here 17 years straight. They've been working here since the 80s off and on. You know, they come in. They yeah, used to come I in know. They would, they, at one time, they stuff. actually had a, a short residency at the MGM, if I'm not mistaken. I remember going there to, to catch up with them. Uh, but they then, they moved, then, they, then yeah. they moved into the Rio, mm-hmm. and that's where they've been right. ever since. You know? I stayed at the, mm-hmm. I stayed at the uh, MGM once, and I looked outside, and you can see Hooters from there, and Bobby Slayton's name was on the market. It was on the Hooters, yes, it was. It was. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I might even have a photo of that. Uh, the Rio Hotel. Yeah, he, well, nice he did a residency have, at Hooters, yeah, for about yeah. six months, eight months, something like that. The Rio Bar has a very nice, uh, the Rio Hotel has a, uh, Teppanyaki downstairs, and it has an incredible uh, view from the upstairs bar. Yeah, because because from the upstairs bar you I can see that. you can see Paris. Yeah. Oh no, wait a minute, that's the Hotel Paris, and that isn't the real Eiffel Tower. Well, wait a minute, there's New York. Oh no, wait a minute, yeah. that's New York, that's New so York, fake. You know. <laughs> Well, do you see prefer the, the Empire Encore? State Building? Let's see the Empire. What? Yeah, New York. Oh, New York, New York's uh, roller coaster hurts. It just—it's too small. It's too short. It's too tight. It's one of the. It's just a tough roller coaster. Well, is the People, big sky, is sky thing still there? The uh, yeah. What's it called? Uh, stratosphere. Yeah, stratosphere. Yeah. I did a radio show from there when they opened the Stratosphere, mm-hmm. and who walked by me? While I was doing my show, Donald Trump. Oh, the guy was taking him on a tour through the place. You know. Did the roller coaster exist when it was first built? Yeah, it had or a roller. roller they put a later. roller coaster on the top of the stratosphere. I've been on that. I, I really? I've never it, seen yeah. any of those. It would things. scare the shit out of me. It was cool because it scares the shit out of you. Oh, I see. You. Well, you like to get this. <laughs> I've also jumped out of an airplane before. You want to go over there too? I'm, I, you know something? I've always had. Uh, I, I, when people have said, "Would you jump out of an airplane?" I said, "Yeah, I think I would." Yeah. Great. We can do that in Vegas. Let's go. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't think I'd do that. Not because I'd be scared. It's just, uh, you know, it's not a thing that I'm. Well, in Las Vegas, Phil, you can bungee jump. They have an entire very safe area. And they'll strap you into the bungee and you jump off you the know, top. They always say we have a safe area for bungee jumping. And then you hear about somebody dying bungee jumping. So I, I'm well, not. How could they possibly? Or, I mean, or, seriously, you have a big mattress that it lands on. Or oh, they I cut see. three quarters of the way through the cable and they go, hey, go. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I had a friend who w- worked as a publicist for the MGM Grand. And they were always uh, burying stories. They didn't want to get into the newspaper all the suicides that happened. Uh, in hotel, this is a bit of a suicide capital of the world, oh, yeah. I guess, because people come here to do one last, one last hail mary pass to see if they can fix their problems. Or, but a lot of people get one way tickets to Vegas, uh, and that's a story uh, they never that's, really. That's put why. Out there. That's why the windows don't open. Mm-hmm. Well, look at the guy who shot down at the crowd. Uh, oh, 150 people. You know, I mean, you know, and and we're talking about didn't... suicide, not killing people. Well, he killed well, himself. Killed himself. After yeah. you know, after he took down 150. Well, okay, people, we'll count that as a suicide. Hurt the, uh, hurt other ups, people, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's the whole thing. You're not really brave if you're not if you're taking out other people with you, are you? Well, so well, maybe. The puppetry of, mm. Do you think MGM will make a, an attraction uh, out of those rooms and you know let people you heard, shoot down at the crowd? You heard what they did, right, Phil? 
Well, I want. That's taken. They, they, they sued. They MGM. I even sued noticed the Chris wince on that one, Phil. <laughs> yeah, MGM sued the victims of the uh, shooting. Uh, no. Mirage. Mirage, not the MGM. No, no, it wasn't the, the Mirage. Was yes, the it was MGM. the Mirage. The Mirage is no. where the guy shot from. Uh, it was no. the MGM Mandalay Bay. The MGM. The, the Mandalay the Bay. Bay. Mandalay yeah. Bay. Yeah. Yeah. Does MGM so own the Mandalay Bay? Bay? Yeah. Yeah. Is the Mandalay Bay part of the MGM? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And, and the. It might be young. I Oh, MGM thank you. Thank well, you. Look thank at you, Kevin. Kevin. What is that? What, what do we got? That's an alarm. One hour and one minute. Good job, Kevin. Okay, come back when you can. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh. oh. Okay. Hey, ladies Who and won? gentlemen, if you waited around <laughs> to see when Kevin would have to hit the can because he is doing colonoscopy, a colonoscopy prep. Is, is this a Kevin cam? Uh -huh. Oh, no, please don't take it with you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So here was the th let's talk about the shooter a little bit since it isn't talked about that much. I stayed in that hotel. I've actually we've stayed in that configuration. We weren't on that wing, but we were on the wing facing the Las Vegas uh, airport. So he actually had a suite that had two sets of windows from two different directions. Didn't he have two he, suites? No, one suite, big ass suite. Oh. It, because he was on the 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 end of the X. That suite kind of that one suite spears off a little bit. So on one side might be the living room and and a sleeping area. The other side was like the sleeping room, this uh, another suite. So he had it was one big suite. He knocked off one window on one wing. He knocked off another window on the other wing. He put up gun sights on that one wing, and then he put gun sights in the window at the other wing. And he was just planning on going back and forth between the two. Did he knock the windows out because he didn't like yes. the air conditioning? Yeah. <laughs> cute. Not cute enough, though. Because a lot of people... Yeah, this is really something that's just rife for comedy, Phil. Yeah. Well, hey, it's good timing. Uh, there's Those a saying, still don't too talk. soon. Anyway, um, I really and especially for a guy like Chris, because he lives there, and people who live there were just... You were, they were absolutely... Horrified. Taken, horrified by this whole thing, right, Chris? Well, they, they were. I mean, immediately people were, were giving blood the next day. There was, there was lines everywhere to give blood, even though they had enough. And mm -hmm. uh, I was, uh, an old friend of mine is a nurse at the, one of the emergency rooms. And about three weeks later, he, he told me what his experience was working that night. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, you know, it's something. Yeah. And everyone, of course, is trying to psych profile the guy. They're, they're questioning the police because the police weren't transparent and they couldn't be or they weren't. There was some uh, issues with what they didn't know how they weren't trained to stop the guy quick enough and so forth. Well, you know, so, uh, they also it, didn't have a lot of information. Well, well here, mean, here, yeah, here, the here's the problem with a situation like that when nothing like this has ever happened before. Mm -hmm. you know, how, do you, how do you train for it? How, how do you train for it? You know, I mean, uh, you can't sit around training people for every possibility of something that might happen. Uh, you mean a shooter at a high point? I'm sure now everybody is trained. Side to side? Well, I'm sure it that right. screams Texas. That screams the Texas thingy. No, but I, the, that was 19 is. people. But I would. It would seem. Same. It would seem to me that the uh, the Las Vegas Police Department is now completely trained on how to handle something like this. Yeah, but to say that we haven't seen this before is incorrect. We've seen it. No, before. but we have. We, we, but in this particular case, there were a particular set of circumstances in the way in which it it was done, which was like doing it from a, a high window, uh, you know, across the street from this rather crowded venue. Texas. But Austin he was bringing Tower. shit. Into well, no, that, that no, that was, was different because I was around for that in you in Houston when that and happened. Was, also. And he was no. on the top of the He was on top of a tower, people. but he was shooting. Uh, he wasn't able to. It wasn't a huge crowd on the street below. Okay. He also had uh, like a, a bolt action rifle. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah so, you I mean, can't take out that many people. No, but no, it wasn't as crowded or anything like that. It was, this was an entirely different circumstance, you know? You mean a different weapon? I mean, by the time the cops probably got to the room that he was in, he already killed, you know, two dozen people. Because of just the massive amount of crowds, the crowd down there. Yeah. He could just shoot, and he was going to hit something. 
Well, there was also the fact that for several days prior to this incident, he was bringing in tons of luggage into into his uh, suite, and no one no one seemed to suspect anything that it, it might be unusual. But I, you know, I guess you know people Look, do you know, shows all of these all of these shows. situations after the fact that woulda coulda shoulda. Uh, but you know the fact is that when it's uh, you know when you didn't maybe they just didn't see it coming, and I can see every reason why they couldn't. Yeah. The yeah. Um, the uh, one is I'm not sure I think that's good enough. But two, they they actually took the guy who sold the tracer bullets and and to, and, and and made him pay right. They they, they, he, they charged he was, him with something. He was making them illegally, oh, yeah. and selling them on the internet. And uh, that's where. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I heard about that guy. Yeah. So, so he bought. He didn't buy a lot of ammo from him, but he bought enough to get the guy who was making them illegally in trouble. Yeah. Because a lot of his other ammo was all legally purchased um, from a couple places in Vegas, or is it just? No, it was a couple. I, I thought it was a couple places. Oh, by the way, I got to say something about uh-huh. Vernon tonight because Vernon is using his iPad. He isn't using a computer. Ah, that's true. And so we have this picture of Vernon smiling. And every time mm-hmm. I look at it, I think that he's actually there. And I'm, I, and it's the same smiling face at me, Vernon. You still there? Yes, I'm still here. <laughs> Vernon, I spent almost $1,000 on plywood last weekend at your store. So I'm pretty sure I'm keeping you afloat at this point. Yeah, he's still Keep getting the plywood. That, he, that store, means that next store. year, next year is going to get another forty cent an hour raise. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, here's so, the other story, the Phil, that you missed completely, and that is because you know, Fox was ginning it up like crazy. Was the uh, the uh, story of uh, Facebook and the fact that conservatives who work at Facebook feel they're working in a hostile environment. <laughs> Good. I, I, I didn't hear that, but uh, I didn't know that they hired any conservatives at Facebook. No, they do. They do. Yeah. And and By Facebook, mistake, again, has said we we respect all political opinions here. But, you know, as you can't you liberal. can't know, but you can't account for individuals who, you know, will be uh, not nice to these people because of their politics. You can't you can't delegate that. But it is they acted like it was a company policy. But it was just a bunch of conservatives oh. bitching. Uh, whining, well, whining, 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 whining. You know, it's true that uh, if you go into a group of uh, lefties uh, or liberals, and they they make you look like, they try to make you look like you're evil. They try we to don't make, have well, to. Well, there's a reason we for that, Phil, because you, you are. Like you're the, no, oh, no, 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 no. But it, we it's, don't ever have to. Conservatives make you look that don't. Way. Conservatives don't go to your rallies and throw rocks. No, you know and, what they do? They go to bombs. rallies and they shoot people and they beat them up, and they yeah. do stuff like that. Because you got to remember, part of your people uh, is the alt right. Yeah. The you know, I have alt-right. to admit. But you guys got Antifada and uh, and uh, wa- uh, uh, what's that? Uh, what no? Uh, uh, what does Antifada mean? What is it exactly? I've been hearing this term a lot lately, and I really you know. I, it's, it's a group. Uh, I don't know what it means. But Anti it's, it's some, far it, left. Some, I don't remember its code, but I can look it up. Yeah, oh, I don't think ahead. they're anti far left. I think they're pro far left. I forget what it is. Uh, I'll go look. Anti- uh, oh, by the way, Puppetry of the Penis is playing in Las Vegas. For those of you who haven't seen it, it's two guys and two. Well, okay, whatever. You got to go find. And it. obviously, I've two lost, penises. <laughs> I've lost enough weight to see mine. I, I don't need to go. Pay. So you don't want to get up there on stage and show your penis off to everybody else. It's a show. It is a oh. real show. It's about ten so straight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that like those Japanese guys that tie stuff to it and mm-hmm. and lift it and lift yep. weights with it? Yeah, mm-hmm. I think I'll pass. <laughs> yeah, but uh, 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 you know, I. Uh, uh, by the way, this is you know I, I've been sushi. watching lately. I've been watching BBC World, and the reason I'm doing that is because it's just such a relief not to hear about Trump every minute. You know, and the big story they were on today is that uh, there's a whole fascist movement in Germany. There are people displaying swastikas and doing the Hitler salute. 
That'll and, get them in prison. And, and what, what it kicked them off this weekend, and the reason there were these demonstrations was because a Syrian and an Iranian, I think, killed a couple. And so, again, it's like this whole immigrant thing, you know, this uh, xenophobia that these people get. And you're going to blame Trump for that, too? Sure, why not? Uh, yeah. Well, it's against the law in Europe, in in Germany, to to brandish a swastika, isn't it? Uh, yes, um, that's that's the yeah. other problem. They're thinking of prosecuting them because you're not allowed to. Uh, in fact, when I went to Germany years ago, I remember looking in souvenir stores, and they actually had Hitler, you know, Nazi memorabilia, and wherever they had a swastika, they had to put a piece of tape over it so they wouldn't be displaying it. Mm. Okay, so it says short for military leftists or or occasionally far left radical leftists. It says generally known to be commit acts of violence towards the right side of the political spectrum. Hmm. Yes. Well, I think so I'll join. I, I, I think maybe I'll join them. <laughs> yeah, I think you already have. <laughs> I, I, for somebody who's not going to bungee jump. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, there's no bungee jumping in terrorism. Okay. That's so, true. You know. Do they have hats that are made in China you can wear, or is that just? Uh, no, that's just Phil's I wonder, where, I wonder actually, where this hat, you know. They they got a school. They they teach firebombing 101. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder where this hat from the U.S. Open today was made. Let's see. Here. So uh, you know, we we it's how to recognize a racist. You look for the New Balance shoes. You look for the torch. You look for the, okay. you know, that anti-woman look. Where, where, where do you think this hat is from? Where was it made? Taiwan. I've never seen this on a hat before. Go ahead. Korea? No. Domestic or international? You're Bangladesh. How did you get oh, Bangladesh? Uh, I, I know that a lot of cheap shit comes out of Bangladesh. <laughs> really? Because this was a $30 hat. That was the price well, tag. Yeah. It was 30 bucks, <laughs> And it comes from Bangladesh. This was a fifteen hundred dollar hat, and it was made in China. Oh, really? Oh boy, it sucks to be a Republican, doesn't <laughs> it? You know, I, I when you talk about <laughs> it was just NRA. Why, you know? why can't they make stuff in America? It just seems to me like the NRA would look to get America. They, I'm sure somebody makes caps here See in America. See this cap? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's made in the USA. See the American? Is it really? Yeah. See the American flag? Oh, God. where did you get that the, from? I, thought they were all, I, I think that's I thought disrespectful of the American flag. Okay. Well, uh, I, I, it's a, it's a John, Donald Trump Cali Farm Headwear. Oh, wow. So F A M E for farm, like uh, French well, word. Well, wait a minute, but is it a Donald Trump product? Uh, this was a uh, this was yeah. from his campaign. No, but was I, it I, a Donald Trump product? Uh, no, it uh, it says uh, Cali Fame. Headwear, and out of, uh, and they have a website, califame.com, C A L I F A M E. Well, I will, yeah. I will look that up and see. It's in Carlson, California. It's a clothing. Mm. Oh, they said headwear. I'm sorry. I don't know if this is the actual yeah. manufacturer. But uh, this hat was made in Yeah, it's headwear. Dead. Cali Frame. And they headwear. charged 30 bucks for this hat. Really? Yeah. So, by the way. This one was only 25 Yeah. <laughs> and it was made in the United States. Hey, Phil, do you know what binary code is? Yes. Okay. A zero, one, uh, yep. you know, yeah. Zeros and ones. So yeah. I had somebody code out, fuck you, Trump, and binary. Yeah. It looks uh, great. Well, I know and that I Vernon, it, Vernon can do that on Morse code. And I stuck it in the Google well, search. Down there. <laughs> yeah. Downstairs. Yeah. Next time you must call us from your from your room. There, studio, Vernon. yeah. Your studio. I'm sorry your feet hurt, Vernon. Eight hours standing would suck. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rough day. Rough day. Anyway. It is. Try working with people who don't know shit asking you a whole bunch of questions about tools you don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, he's back. Well, well. Uh, how did it go, Kevin? Quickly. Oh, uh, Really? Just emptied you right out, huh? <laughs> I'm hungry, damn it. <laughs> I want a steak. <laughs> yeah, well, what time's your colonoscopy tomorrow? 9.15 in the morning. Well, by... Oh, it's, it's been moved to 4 p.m. By, uh, by, 
by by ten thirty you'll be you'll, you'll be able to have that steak. <laughs> anyway, hey, thanks everybody. I really appreciate the people who called when I yelled out that I wasn't going to ever do another show again if people didn't call. Yeah, but you don't give about the shit the, uh, a shit about the people that called without oh, no, being. Oh no! Threatened. Oh no! I, uh, I oh he doesn't want to be treated. I the give same it. Way I get. I give a shit about now. Kevin. Yeah. Uh, in fact, <laughs> Kevin gives it gave a big it. shit about <laughs> me. Right. Just no. Anyway, thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Uh, always good to talk to you, uh, 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 Vernon. Always good to talk to you, Phil and Chris Ritter, uh, and and Renee. Uh, well, Renee is always here from time to time. Uh, but Chris, uh, call more often. We love. I love you having you on the show. You okay. could, yeah. contribute well to it. Anyway, mm-hmm. everybody, <laughs> why don't you give a big uh, wave goodbye to everybody so they can uh, they can see uh, you. There we go. That's our citizen panel for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. That's it. That's about all she wrote. Let me just uh, hang up on everybody here uh, and uh, do away with the citizens panel because Jack Bishop needs it next on the intersection. He comes next on GabNet, followed at 1 o'clock in the morning by Connections, followed tomorrow night at 9.30 by uh, Damian Chaplin and The Exchange. And then I'm back here again at 10 o'clock. Same time, same place in life, same station in life. I can't even remember my closing. Uh, And reminding you that if you see her, you know, please tell her I love her, okay? Bye, everybody.